Chelsea with the Fat Quarter Shop, and I'm here today with Jamie of Dear Stella. We're going to talk a little bit about the Dear Stella brand. Um, tell us about your company. Dear Stella is a still fairly young company. We've been on the market for about two years now. It was originally developed to reach a different kind of sewer, sewist, um, and quilter. It follows a different kind of aesthetic. It's very modern, very clean. Uh, takes its cues from home deck. Mm -hmm. And how can uh, this sewers use your prints differently than they do the more traditional classic? Well, it doesn't follow a typical quilting formula. Um, so really, it can be used for quilting. It can be used for home decorating, making pillows, uh, table runners, chair covers. It's also really, really great for garments and accessories and kids' clothes and bedding. It's a lot of options. A lot of options. And can you tell us a little bit about how you went about branding your company? Well, the most important thing for us was consistency and to keep this really clean polish. So um, for us, you know, we try to keep a lot of continuity with our logo colors, which are pink and gray. Um, we have an illustration that we developed and she really embodies what Dear Stella is. And so we keep her with us at all times. She's in our advertising campaigns. Um, our collections are always about the same size. They follow the same basic feeling of clean, fresh, um, bright, and fun. Yep, sounds great. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how Dear Stella incorporates trends into their collection? Well, Dear Stella definitely follows trends, but we try not to be too trendy. We don't want to be in and out um, and really mean nothing from one season to the next. So here is a little inspiration board just to show you some ideas of where we get our inspiration, what we want to create for our fans. And so a lot of these images have come from Pinterest, from Home Deck. These images are all over the place and as you can see, we're inspired by all walks of life. And so here you're really seeing a color story. That's the biggest thing here, a color story and Paisley's. Um, and so this is the collection that came from that color story and it's called Paloma. And so really here the trend is the color scheme. Mm -hmm. It's the mint, it's the light gray, and it's the citron color. We're also seeing a lot of birds in home dive and fashion. Um, and then you've got your paisleys, and everybody always loves a dot in a stripe, for sure. Can you tell us a little bit about the large scale prints and how those are used? So in Dear Stella, we do definitely have a lot of large scale prints. If you look in home deck and fashion, like very often you'll see just one huge flower or mm -hmm. one big huge leaf, and that is really beautiful to us. And they're the kind of things we aspire to be able to have. Yes. Um, a lot of times those fabrics cost about eighty-seven dollars a yard, and most of us can't afford to buy that kind of stuff. And so that's where Dear Stella comes in. Mm -hmm. And so in our projects, we really try to find ways to show you how you can use these large scales and not be afraid of them and still use them in really traditional quilt cool patterns, like this one by J. Bird Quilts. And, and so this is a kind of modern quilt pattern, but it is very accessible. Exactly. And so you can see that these large scale prints are cut up into this very small pattern. It's 60 by 76. And they completely make sense. The whole collection is beautiful yeah. together. Um, and you know, this doesn't have to be used in this huge size, it can be cut up and used in a variety of ways. We try to do about 20 collections a year. So we've got 10 collections in the spring season, 10 in the fall season. They're not all released immediately at once. We do probably about three every two months or so. So you curve. Yeah. And can you tell us about how you name the collections? The naming process is personal, even though we try for nothing in this business to be very personal, <laughs> but um, you know, if we are reading a magazine or an ad or happen to be on a nail polish website and see a cute name, we jot it down. We have a running list of names. Um, and then, you know, we'll come up with a collection like this and Paloma was not on any of our name lists and we'll agonize over it and we'll kind of go back and forth and debate about it and then somebody will come up with something and it'll totally make sense. And so everything just works out in the end, but it's not really a technical process. Not a technical process. You just have to yeah. kind of feel it like how some parents have to wait till their babies are born to name them. It's like we have to wait until our collection you comes see together. It, it looks like a Paloma. And then all of a sudden we're like, yep, that's a Paloma. <laughs> <laughs> so where do you see Dear Stella going in the next few years down the road? Well, Hmm. Dear Stella has strived since the beginning to kind of try to stay ahead or outside of the curve. We don't really want to be like everyone else and so I feel like up until now we've kind of, we've kept ourselves different with the illustration of the Dear Stella character and the branding of the company and trying really to make it more about the brand and less about every single person that does everything 
inside of the company. Mm -hmm. And so I think really the main idea is to just keep it clean, keep it fresh, and to stay in front, stay out in front and be leaders and not followers. Can you tell us about how you um, pair your collections with projects? Um, okay, well that is a dynamic process. Mm -hmm. We are constantly looking at books and looking online and we're approached by a lot of pattern designers. Occasionally we have someone design an original pattern for Dear Stella. In this case, um, Julie Herman of Jaybird Quilts designed this quilt for herself and then she ended up using our fabric in it. And then here are some other projects that we have. Um, here is a picnic blanket that we saw online and we just loved and we thought it was so perfect for this Clementine oh, collection. Is. And so this rolls up into a picnic blanket. This is a gorgeous quilt designed by Jocelyn of Backwater Shop for It's So Emma. And this uses our Honeycrisp collection. And again, these are some very large scale prints that she used in a very creative way to show the whole collection. Mm -hmm. And here is another Jaybird's quilt pattern showing our collection of paper. Again, very large scale prints. They all work together, this entire collection. Sounds great. And then are there any other, any other things you want to show us today? Uh, well, I brought with me some reference of some future collections. Yes. But it might be exciting to see what's coming down the pipeline. And so here are some collections. This is called Perry Mint. Mm -hmm. This is called Take a Hike, and this is by our licensed designer, Jack and Lulu. This is called Lola, and this one is called Tiger Lily. Can you tell us about each of these? Sure. Just briefly. Um, so, well, first, Perry Mint is, was inspired by a greeting card that we found mm -hmm. at an independent paper shop in New York City. Um, these are actually, sometimes we use patterns across the board, like this pattern is used here and here. This pattern has been used in our line before. We think it's nice color. for continuity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes we resize things, sometimes we use them again the same size. We think it really creates a look for Dear Stella. Mm -hmm. It's really a branding, like a look to kind of, you see a collection, you can know, like, that's Dear Stella. Like, it just totally makes sense to you. We always try to do something a little bit ethnic, and that's where Tiger Lily comes in. We really, really love these block stamps, um, and we really love the earthly, kind of bold colors that are inspired by designs all over the world. So, and then we've got Lola here, which kind of came on the heels of Paloma, and it introduced that same citron and the light gray, and we're just throwing a little twist in there with the dark and light blues. And then our licensed designer, Jack and Lulu, usually comes to us with inspiration. And here they're inspired by camping, which seems to be a really big trend yes. in the world these mm -hmm. days, all year round, all different kinds of camping. And so these are just really nostalgic, Very adorable Very traditional prints. camping. And who doesn't love mm -hmm. s'mores on a campfire? Exactly. <laughs> so that's just a little bit of what's to come for next season for Dear Stella. Well, thanks so much, Jamie. Sure, this was so much fun. Thanks for having me. For more information, visit Dear Stella. Um, and visit us on our website at www.backquartershop.com.